Hey now, what's up guys? I haven't realized just how long it's been since I've done a video like this, but we are at volume 8 and some stories that I've been reading. First of all, the reason why The Miz hasn't been on Raw lately is because he's filming this movie, Christmas Bounty, which is an ABC family film. That's not cool. I guess he's gonna go off and start becoming a movie star now. I wonder if when he won the title at WrestleMania, maybe he was supposed to keep the belt, but because of this movie, they took it away from him. Check out the big brain on you. It seems that way because I swear Wade Barrett has done absolutely nothing since he won the belt back. I was hoping that big win of him winning the belt back the night after Mania was gonna give Barrett a push, but no, nothing. Now, what I just read today is that WWE is looking to start a subscription YouTube channel. Really? It's supposed to be like $2 a month. Wow. What are they really going to put on this YouTube channel that's going to be so impressive? Like in WrestleMania 3 when, when Hogan picked up Andre the Giant and he body slammed him. But all I'm thinking is what happened to their subscription based premium channel that we were supposed to get like a year ago and we still haven't gotten it. I know that a lot of problems have happened and it doesn't seem like it's anywhere close to happening, but it's like, so now what? What if they do bring that channel on to cable and it's like, so I have to pay for that and also pay for YouTube? Your pay-per-view prices are already through the roof. It's enough. Enough money you're getting from me. At least, I will give them this. At least they stopped having Extreme Rules in April, the same month as WrestleMania. At least they gave us a few weeks to breathe. I would just rather you say thank you and order the pay-per-view. Now on to some news that almost only pertains to The Undertaker. First up, The Undertaker may return for SummerSlam to get revenge on The Shield. And if that does happen, that would be awesome. I would really look forward to that. Undertaker seemed like he was still in decent shape after that CM Punk match. He wrestled for that whole week in England. Very impressed with that. I don't want to have to wait until next year at WrestleMania to see Undertaker. If that's the case, then fine, whatever. But still, it just would be cool to see him come back for a pay-per-view like SummerSlam. Fight the Shield. I don't even care if he beats them. It really doesn't matter. I, it's weird how much I kind of just want to see Undertaker back more often. Potential WrestleMania 30 opponents for The Undertaker. Ryback said in an interview that he wants to be the guy to face Undertaker next year. You hear that, Eddie? Who knows, it might happen now that Ryback's heel. I could totally see them doing it, but first of all, I do not like Ryback as a heel. I think it doesn't work. In one hand, you could say that, well, he's fighting different wrestlers now, okay? But that's exactly why I want guys like Randy Orton or John Cena to turn heel, because they've been faced for so many years, especially John Cena. You want to see them fight different wrestlers. You want to see them just do something different, and WWE won't turn them heel. Randy Orton desperately wants to turn heel. WWE won't do it. John Cena, he probably doesn't want to turn heel, so that's probably the whole stick with them. But Ryback just doesn't work as a heel. Like, now that we hear him talk more, it's just annoying and it's boring. He just rambles on. It was better when he just said one word or one phrase, and that was it. That was Goldberg's strength. Ryback, stick with that. Stick to your strength. Stop trying to be this talker. Exactly what did you have in mind, Detective? Undertaker apparently has told McMahon that he will work WrestleMania, but the people he wants to work with, it seems like he has two in mind. John Cena or Brock Lesnar? John Cena or Brock Lesnar, which one would I want to see? Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I guess John Cena. I want the truth. John Cena because the hype for that match would be huge. Probably would be the main event of the show, which would just be awesome to see Undertaker get a main event at WrestleMania. But Brock Lesnar, I would be up for seeing that match, but I have seen them wrestle quite a few times in the past. Brock Lesnar actually beat Undertaker's ass pretty bad in the Hell in the Cell match they had back in 2002. What'd you just say? I don't know if anyone remembers that, but all I remember is Undertaker just being completely covered in blood, so maybe he would need payback for that. Brock Lesnar hasn't really won that many matches since he's been back. I don't want him to lose Undertaker at WrestleMania as well. He just lost to Triple H. 
whatever. Guys, that's the latest in WWE news nowadays. Let me know in the comments below what you think of them. And why not? Who do you want to see by Undertaker at next year's WrestleMania? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!